Hey guys, uh, Jason here with Jason's Works. Just wanted to get a video out um, regarding the new pro tip. Pro tip number, I gotta look it up. <laughs> Whatever number we're on now. Um, we have a new insert on these Ross pushers. So the idea is that when you're pressing your Ross pusher into your, your sweet die, um, that inner support is going to give uh, make the legs more rigid, so less likely for the legs to slip inside the coin and could possibly chip the very edge there. I got another video showing how to repair that if it does happen. Quite easy, really. Skyler came up with that idea. But um, I'll put a link or a video to click on somewhere around here after this. Um, but uh, the Ross pushers are now coming out with these, so please do not remove them when you get them. And you can actually adjust it. You can push this uh, further down towards the top of the pusher so that you have more flexibility. Or if you want more rigidity, then you can have it closer to the tip. I like it closer to the tip for that um, rigid effect. So but it works really good. And thank you, John Harkai, for coming up with the idea. Um, he first contacted me a while ago. I've been meaning to, to get a video out and get this going. Just taking a long time, but John, thank you very, very much. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, he had sent me some rubber inserts to try out, but they would collapse and not quite work. But really liked the idea and um, was thinking the urethane would, would do well. Couldn't find anything. And then uh, Michael Beauclair, uh, he, he came up, he found that the um, high temperature plugs that folks are using for the powder coating, work perfect if it just right and so tried to find some other ways to uh, other plugs or inserts but turns out that's just the best <laughs> so um oh that's right if you don't have the plug yet uh, let me show you what to get i'll put a link below just a standard link to go to amazon where i get them um, or got them uh, but let me show you the bag real quick so that's the bag um and they're just high temp plugs and they come in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sizes. You don't need all seven, you just need the three different sizes, but it's a few bucks, very inexpensive, um, and you'll have them. If you if you need them, that's, that's where I would suggest getting them or something similar to that, something that is very rigid, um, that, but can compress. There's another gentleman who came up with the idea of a wood dowel. And that's a good idea, although I wasn't quite sure about how it would compress and wear over time. So, uh, but he, I can't remember your name. I tried to try to find you, but can't find you. But thank you as well uh, for uh, letting me know that uh, uh, your idea on that too. So, anyhow, quick video. Just wanted to show that to you. Loving these Ross pushers, just great. Remember though that they're light to medium duty use only. You're not putting thousands of pounds of pressure on these things. If uh, you have a lot of pressure to do, a big brass coin, or you're taking one coin through the first die and then you want to go a little bit through the second, then you want to use, switch over to brass on that second die. And you don't have to push the coin all the way through the dies, guys. Um, just because you can doesn't mean you have to. If, if you want a size 10 or 11 on, uh, on a half dollar, you're, not gonna take, you're only going to take that coin down maybe, I don't know, a quarter of the way or half way and use those witness lines to, um, so you know what size for what coin you're getting on which line. That way you don't have to guess the second time. So anyhow, just wanted to get that video out. I'll try to get some more videos going and thank you all. You guys have a great day. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.